my last video, you saw we discussed the unboxing of the Pioneer CDJ2000. I've had them set up for a couple weeks, and I've had them running. I've been mostly using the jump drive and CDs with the system. Um, I just recently hooked it up to my Serato Scratch, which I traditionally was using with my vinyl turntables. So I'm just going to show you the uh, the whole setup now that it's all up and running. And as you see, when you're operating Serato Scratch through the CDJ, you really don't get any waveform of the music because there's no data really processing. It's kind of like a, uh, you're turning the CDJ really into like a dummy terminal. It's probably the best way to explain it. A um, couple of key things just to know if you're if you're going to use the two together, any CDJ with Serato, make sure you have it in absolute mode, okay, on the uh, Serato Scratch, and vinyl mode on your CDJ. Um, I've been doing it with, with some success. Um, and just a little bit more insight, I mean, I've, I'm kind of uh, sad to say that right now this is what my, my turntables become. I've been, uh, I've been using my decks for about 10 years, and... It just um, one started crapping out. Something's going on with the ground wire, so it's uh, it's, it's definitely a bummer because um, I, I've, I love my decks. They've been there through good times and bad. So um, of course, you know the CDJs are great, but um, for some reason, I still I'm not at that level on a CDJ that I was with with vinyl. Um, but yeah, if, if, if any of you guys who are watching this video have some suggestions, right now the the big issue that I'm having with using the two together is organization. Um, how do you guys organize your tracks, not just in uh, Serato, but also how do you organize your tracks um, in Rekordbox on your jump drive? I just, I need some more insight. That's one thing that I kind of fall short on, so any advice is appreciated. Um, yeah, any questions you guys have about the setup, you know, it's, it's, it's an open forum, so please feel free. But um, just a little couple more details, um, uh, in case you're wondering how I had this all set up. Um, and what I'm running, I have two CDJ 2000s Pioneer. They're both running into a Allen and Heath Zone 92 mixer. Absolutely love this mixer. Um, the Serato Scratch box is operating on my MacBook Pro. Um, for sound, I use two M Audio BX8As. Now these, um, they're, they're great speakers. I absolutely love them for studio use. I wouldn't really recommend them for. Um, you know, they're not going to be for a club, but if you're playing at home and you want a good, solid performer for a crisp sound, sound with some nice low end, um, they're highly recommended. For uh, my speakers going outbound, I've got a couple of KRK Rocket 6s. Now, the Rocket 6s are really good for studio production, but not as good for DJing on, but that's my opinion. Um, also, we have the Mackie Sub, well, actually, correction, that's uh, the Mackie SRM450, and I have an M Audio. Studio file BX10 sub that's pushing all the low end, so um, yeah, so that's pretty much my setup. But um, yeah, any questions you guys have, please feel free to ask. And if you can help me out in the organization, it is appreciated. Uh, once again, I'm Ayoki, and thanks for listening to my babble.